All right, so in this quick tutorial, I am going to uh, see how to use vMix with OBS and uh, the ClickBit event stream. So the, the, the reason OBS is even in this mix is because it allows the, the customized version of OBS that you can get on our website allows you to actually stream in real time to get that half second delay instead of using RTMP. So the first thing you're going to need, though, is a PC, uh, not a Mac. And you're going to need vMix and you're going to need OBS installed from our website. So when you go into your admin, um, you go to Event Central, live broadcast, and download the copy of OBS. So you can see here the difference being that you have the Millicast WebRTC option as the um, uh, stream output. Uh, that's what we want. Now, the other thing you're going to need is to go to a browser and download NDI tools. So I just did a quick Google search, NDI tools, and you want to click on download. And I'm going to download for Windows. So I'm just going to choose download. I'm going to register. And it will send, when you fill that out, it'll send you a link to an email, or via email. You can follow the link and then download the tools. Grab those tools in your downloads folder. It will ask you to install them. I'm going to then go through the installation process. And when it's done, you'll see this screen here that says, you know, you can use an iOS Android phone as a camera, and then you can learn about using the tools. I'm going to close that window. And then I'm going to close OBS. If you've already had it open, just go ahead and relaunch it. Because what we want to find is in the plus symbol on OBS, you have, you know, scenes and sources. We're just going to have one scene. And in that scene, we're going to have one source. And we're just going to choose NDI. And then we're going to choose the vMix. Now, before I do that, though, I just want to launch vMix. And then once vMix is launched, I'm going to add, I'm not, you know, I'm not the uh, power user of vMix. So some of this is going to be pretty basic. So I'm just going to pick a Zoom broadcast that I did for an event a while ago. And I'm just going to open it up and hit play. So what this is, this was an event that we did. Um, I was capturing a Zoom call, broadcasting it. The goal is I want something with audio and video. So once I've got that, I can go over to um, OBS and then I can choose plus NDI source. Go ahead and just leave it as the name. And then it's going to give me a source name. Now I'm on the same computer, so it's not two different computers. I'm going to choose, in mine, I have laptop uh, vMix output one. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to leave it at highest. And then I'm going to just leave the settings as is. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And then it's going to put whatever is in my output view of vMix, it's going to put that into my OBS. So if I hit play, you're going to hear some some sound. Uh, I want to leave it on because I want you to hear it. So um, I'm going to hit play and you're going to hear me. You're going to hear the broadcast and then. And in that you can see that the NDI source was playing music and sound and it was playing the video. So it is real time. So I'm going to mute the audio here so I can keep talking. It, it runs the broadcast into OBS, and then you can broadcast from OBS. So go to your settings, go to stream, get your credentials from ClickBid, and then when you're ready to broadcast this, just press start streaming. Or, yeah, start streaming. And the nice thing is, is you're actually sending all the audio out of and video out of vMix, so you can actually run your vMix broadcast however you want, and then it will play through OBS. So hopefully that's a, a good quick tutorial. Um, certainly let us know if you have any trouble. Um, we can get you, hopefully, uh, organized and sorted and uh, have a great event.